Okay, so I'm using a 16 by 16 inch deep edge canvas. I've already painted my sides. I'm doing a Dutch pour technique. I've painted um, the sides because I wanted an opaque finish. So I wanted full coverage on the sides. I'm using a Windsor and Newton pale olive for one half of the canvas and then on the other half I'm using a pale umber again by Windsor and Newton. So I want this to be autumnal so I'm going to first of all put the base coat down on the canvas the green and the umber and then I've got four colours I've only got my four colours of red, orange, yellow and brown and what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them on the canvas almost in like a kind of an, a flat s kind of design once i've layered my paint on the canvas i'm then going to blow it out and see what kind of creation we can make but first of all i'm going to concentrate on just this base here so all my paints are mixed with just water very fluid consistency So let's get this base colour on and to watch out for any lumps. Yeah, all good. Okay, so that's my middle line, but I'm not just going to do a long one line. I almost want it to go from here along and then up. So to kind of get like a base or a line to follow, I'm just going to use my brown. So I'm not going to add too much. But that's the kind of the pattern that I'm aiming for. That's what I really want to, to follow. Now I'm going to put a bit of a more brown in the middle. That's it. Okay. Good. So that gives me a line to follow when I'm layering the paints and then blowing it out. So... Right, I'm going to do the red next. I don't want the red to be too prominent. Again, the paints are just mixed with water. I want quite a bit of orange. I like orange, mainly to represent the autumnal kind of feel that I'm trying to create. There we go, that's the orange. Now the yellow won't just stay yellow. As it's got other colours there, it will probably mix a little bit and create like a green kind of tone, but that's really good. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Now, I am also going to just add a little bit of the base colour from each side. Now, if that's not enough paint, once I've blown it out, I've got more paints left over just so I can touch up certain areas. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these air bubbles, and then I think I'm going to start from the centre. I'm going to blow down like that, and then blow up, and then we'll take it from there. The blow dryer is on a cool setting. So again, just start from the middle. I'm just going to blow over and down. Oh, I 
love some of this colour here. Bit lost here, but that may change as I, I, I shape it and I blow it out more. I'm going to now take my blow dryer from the middle and go up. Okay, really liking this bit here. Okay, so that's the, the basic shape that I'm going for. So um, I'm now just going to use my blow dryer and probably my fingers <laughs> to just shape some more of this round here and round here. Now I really like this middle bit, it's really striking. I don't want to blow any more of that out. I'm really happy with this here. I might just move that orange up and round. But I'm not so keen here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a few more of my colours, just to add a little bit more in so I can blow down. I won't need too much because there's already some good colour there. I think I really love this. Now, I like that block of brown just there. I don't know if it's a bit too much. So, I can hear you all going, no. I can hear all of you going, no, stop it. Don't touch any of it. What are you doing? I do, I just want to. Better. I like the little bit of block colour here and all up here. I love this red just here. Okay, I think I'm just going to blow that up a little bit there, blow that down a little bit there. I like it. Okay, here we go. I turned my light off um, because there was such a glare and I really wanted you to see what I could see. I really hope this dries well. I love that block of colour in the middle. But I also love the detail just around the edges. I'm glad I added the brown. I really do actually like that block of brown and orange just there. Let's hope that dries well. But yeah, what I'll do is I will wait for this to dry. Everything's going to be crossed because I really love this and I want it to dry well. So I'll let this dry and I'll hopefully take you in for a dry look version. Okay, so here we go. It's hung on my wall. It's fully dry. 
the vibrancy of the colours are amazing. I really, really love how they've dried. So, yeah, I'm happy with this one. This is my autumnal twist. So, have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for being with me, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.